What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Wolf Among Us. So we've had a little break from the game. Here we are back now though. So let's see what's going on with this cola machine. I'm thirsty. Yeah, kill ya. Mm, maybe that's why you want to drink it. You're not having the best of times at the moment. Big B, I'm not going to lie. What's the ding? I'm pressing it. Press it. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Slut. Oh, um... You... I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast you should... is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should tell All Beast. Of friends live at the woodlands. He'd be mortified. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. Bigby, I have to say, that night when you saw me, I really didn't appreciate you telling Beast when I expressly asked you not to. Oh, don't so, get bitchy. what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... The troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Hmm. Did you know, do you know Tweedledee? Ever see Lily with anyone? Have you seen Snow here? Did you know Faith? Let's ask her if she knew Faith. I mean, she just, she did just say that she didn't know her though. So, ever seen Lily with anyone? Let's go with that. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. <laughs> Mr. Johnson. Uh, d did you know Faith? Why not? Oh, no, do you know Tweedledee? I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. What? Uh, did you know Faith? Let's ask her everything, why not? Meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Hmm. Have you seen Snow here? Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. <laughs> yeah, Bigby gets that a lot. No one likes Bigby. Can I get a fresh set of towels? Yeah, hurry up. Bigby? Chop, chop. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just okay. God damn it! Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Wasn't it two o four? What's the key say? I hear someone getting banged over there. Let's have a listen. Someone's definitely getting banged. 
We should go in. We should interrupt. Hey, I'm coming in. Shut up. Oh, they're not coming. Uh, can we not burst the door down? You have totally like to these rooms. I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. I mean, what if <laughs> in there? <laughs> I was actually gonna say, please. Please. <sighs> Fine. Woo! Sexy times. It's a free sex show. Fuck yeah. Jesus Christ, you're gonna get me fired. I need this job. Uh I have to do my oh uh, sorry. Sorry, beauty, my bad. Sorry about that. Well at least they stop fucking now. We can't hear like ah, go start in the background, German fucking porno. And this is the room we want. Ka ching. Okay. What we got here? Never sure why they have desks in a place like this. In case you want to bend your bitch over a desk, like, come on, where's your fucking imagination? You get health inspectors through here very often. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, what are you looking for? I wasn't expecting much in here. But isn't this why you're here? Why you have the key? No. The key was just to be sure I found the right hotel. This isn't the room Lily was using. Oh. Hmm. So there's nothing else to look at in here. Okay. So are we done now? No! No. The room they met in was 207. Let's go to that one straight away. Have a little listen here. And speed up about it too. Chop chop. I'm going in. Fuck it. 207. Open this one. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love it's not what you think, please! You're cheating on me! With him? No, no, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! Oh, you've I got it wrong, wait. stupid! Relax, Beast. It's not what you think. Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm mad! Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You said you saw her that night! I sure Oh god damn it. Know. Just talk to your wife! Listen to your wife! Just calm down and Beast! Oh god damn it, Beast. I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh no, you don't, buddy. She's my wife, Bigby. I don't want your wife. She's probably hanging after you've been dealt with her anyway. Ooh. Stop. Look at the size of you, son. You fucking obviously left her smoking. No. Leave be. This is my fault. I don't call you beast for nothing, obviously. Come on, oh, I took that one. Oh, mash it. Fuck your beast. Uh, oh, to the face. Nah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, you're getting punched, bitch. Oh. Bigby, no, don't hurt him. He's had enough. I don't want to hurt him. Just stop being stupid. Oh, God damn it! So being nice gets you. You ruined everything. Oh, I didn't, stupid. Shut up. What? 
What is this? Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You, you don't want to see this. Doors open now. Stay outside. Shit. Stay outside. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... Who rented this room? So that's... Yeah. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? I recognize that voice. Sounds like Clementine. A little less kiddish. Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. Yeah, it's definitely Clementine. I remember that. Bl was it Blackbeard? I can't believe this. Or Bluebeard is uh, is Lee as well, the guy who did Lee's voice. It's pretty sweet. I mean, it is Telltale Games, Wall obviously. Rooms have these same clocks with a built-in cassette player. I think so. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, that definitely sounds like her. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. Well, the cool girls when they're alive, but when they're dead, they're just hookers. Hookers. Just hookers. Same as she's a girl when she's alive, but that's just a body when it's dead, stupid. Come on now. Let me slap some sense into you. What's over here? Hmm. He brought wine. Classy. Oh, is that the same? It was fucking Crane. It's so much. That was that's the the wine we gave to Crane, isn't it? It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. Hmm. What about this? <sighs> what is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. Hmm. Next. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Let's keep going. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Hmm. The bed matches the coffin, I guess. Let's say that. I can't really tell those other ones for sure. I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and a weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? I couldn't tell you. It's Fubar right there, to be honest. Me. <laughs> oh, it looks like a Snow White outfit in here, too. I'm just getting fully fucking kinky in here. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off. No, it's there's no blood up. on it. It must have been torn some other time. Extra rough kinky butt sex. What, what are you thinking? Uh he could be a cross dresser. He likes it rough. The rips on the dress make me think our Mr. Smith likes to play hard. 
He's a violent man. You need the dress to tell you that? He's got a thing about snow, and he's got a thing about violence. I think that much was already clear. Oh my god, that poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, hmm. but just how does a person... We can't really know. We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. Hmm. So what else? So scared. What else are we missing? We got the apple. Ah, the poison apple. Do you smell something? No, just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more. What? What now? She was eaten when he attacked. It looks like the, it's like the apple in the book. Murder makes him hungry. Let's go with it. It's the like the apple in the book. It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow Story. Oh no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff too. He's into sexual violence as well as regular violence, apparently. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Hmm, what's that? Let's have a little look here. Stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. Oh. Could have told you that from the bottle. Oh, damn. Well, fuck Crane, anyways. It's a little pussy. Looks like a strong wind would, like, blow him away. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? Damn. Beastly face. So, how did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? You and 12.9% accused him of not caring about her. Damn right. Fucking douchebag. How did you treat the murder suspect? You and 376 of players forced him to talk. Sweet. Did you let Snow come with you to the trip trap? You and 91.9% .9 of players. Damn right. Snow staying close by. How did you handle Georgie Porgy? You and 29.8% of players hit him. He deserved to be here. He was a little bitch. Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 76.7% .7 of players opted not to hit Beast a second time. And then join the discussion now. Let's press continue here. Okay. See, so yeah, I'm just going to let the credits roll as I usually do. Thank you all very much for watching this episode. I have the third one coming very shortly. Have a great day, everyone. And until next time, take it easy.